Maybe that's a wise way. Well, you know, I wish the rest of my patients would fry as much as you. Why don't you go ahead and drop those trousers for me? Drop trow, as the kids say, and let's have a look at uh, the Von Trapp family singers there. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're, you're fine. You can go ahead and do it. You can zip back up. Go ahead. Okay. Do I have herpes or something? No, 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 no. You're healthy. You're healthy, Kevin. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just... You just got to explain something. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, what's with all this shaving there? Shaving this neatly trimmed pattern? What's what's that all about? I'm talking about your balls, Gavin. <laughs> your balls. <laughs> your balls and your bird, and you carved a finch in there. What's that all about? I said it's a gecko. Yeah, so what are you a porn star now? No, this is just that's just what guys do nowadays. You mean <laughs> queers? No, all guys. All guys. Oh, all guys do this. And the reason? Reason? Reason. Why are men shaving their balls, Kevin? It's just like a fashion trend? A fashion no. Um, wearing a monocle is a fashion trend. <laughs> uh, or, or, or like uh, waxing the tips of your mustache. But this is, this is butchery. No, it, it just makes your junk look good. Your junk? Uh, yeah. You, that's what God gave you, junk? Well, you trim it up down there and it gives you an optical inch. An optical inch. And give me the reason why we need an extra inch, whether it uh, be real or imagined, Kevin. Girls like it? Aha! Drop your pants again. Go ahead, drop them. <laughs> Nurse Flynn, get in here, please. Yes, sir. Will you look at this man's balls, please? <laughs> yep. Would you like to sleep with this man? No, I would not. Dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> you see that, Kevin? Your theory is horseshit. <laughs> horseshit! And this whole ball-sharing phenom it's just another example of the feminization of the American male. The what? Listen, Captain, women don't need us anymore. They got us by the balls. And they make their own money. They fix their own cars. They have kids without us. They can do what they want. But we got to be more like them now. $20 haircuts and spa treatments. It's horrible. Look at you, all of your porn-addicted friends, turning into panty boys, quaffing your nether regions for an hour every morning. It's an interesting theory, Doctor. A theory, huh? The theory. When's the last time you got laid? 2001. 2001, exactly. That's the last time any of us got laid. You want to know why? <laughs> you want to know why? Desperate housewives. Sex in the city. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Don't you get, hey, let's be crappy like men. Let's screw strangers with no guilt. Hey, and then the poor husbands are all hooked on Viagra because they better be hard when she wants to have sex. It's got nothing to do with what I want anymore. I gotta be hard for Shelly. <laughs> Who's Shelly? Who's Shelly? My ex. I miss her. <laughs> well, thanks for the chat, Doc. It's, yeah, well, thanks for listening. It's going to blow up the steam. You're welcome. Yes. Well, yeah, okay. You I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, just, uh, thanks again. Just be your own man is what I'm talking about, kid. There's no shame. There's no shame. There's no shame.